play verse, play verse, play verses. David, what's your account name? Is it, is it still uh, Geomorph? How the how do you spell that? Jormsk? <laughs> so dumb. Alright, um, hello, everybody. Um, welcome. You're going to play League of Legends today. So we have a few interesting things going on. Um, one of our players is out with COVID. So we have a substitute. Um, and he's, uh, Sounds like he's trying to play Misfortune top, which doesn't sound like the greatest idea. Sounds like the switches are going around, so uh, we'll see what's happening later on. Because I gotta do this! They come over here and do it! <laughs> It's actually not that hard. You just have to click on some stuff and talk. Yes, of course I'm using OBS. Let me use XSplit. <laughs> Whoa, that's kind of whack. Just don't play jungle, really. That solves all your problems. Uh, oh wait, I'm not playing music again right now. Let me go do that. Woohoo! Cool. Whoa! Alright. Alright, I will be back on when the game starts.
We have a little bit of an interesting problem here. Um, so someone accidentally kicked David, and we can't add him back into the game. But it looks like the other team's also down a player, so we're just doing a 4v4. Mm, Alright, here we go. Um, we also have the chat on the right here. Um, which, uh, just make sure this actually works. But... Okay, we have the uh, <laughs> the uh, ADC band coming up. Uh, very interesting as Zeri got banned. Um, I think the Z band is based off of the uh, David. That's his uh, main character. It sounds like what's about to happen is that we're going to ban one of our own champions. We didn't do that, thankfully. Um, don't know where the Lux ban is coming from. That's, uh, I don't know a single person who plays Lux. But, um... Okay, so there are no picks coming out. Uh, banning another support. Okay, okay. I might have Yasuo. I, he may not be labeled as a... Yeah, I don't know on Yasuo. Just play Heim. <laughs> um... Um... So, uh, while we're waiting for the game to start here, uh, let me make a few announcements. Obviously, there's some uh, slight improvements to the last stream. I'm here now, so it won't just be two hours of dead gameplay and some uh, background audio that I ripped off of Free Music Archive. Um, well, yeah, it sounds really good. Yeah, woohoo! Um, I'm working on other things to do. Uh, give me one second. Um, I'm going to be putting a different message of the day as well. Uh, but that's only going to be on league streams, so it's usually going to be some kind of league joke. Um, uh, I worked on some of the other transitions, so yeah, I'm kind of cool. But um, we're going to get started here, so uh, expect this level of jank from us, the games, because uh, this is still a very new thing, and there's a lot of stuff that's a little interesting about play versus rules. It is a very nice system, I will say that, but... Um, yeah. So right now, we have a Lucian, Shen, and Karma. So um, for reference, the Frogman is Oliver. He's usually our ADC. Um, email is just actually my account, but um, that's a very long story, and that is not a long-lasting thing. And Cedar Mellon is Josh. He's the support. Um, whoever, the person who's playing uh, my account right now is David, and he's normally our top laner. Again, complicated situation. That's not normal. Because David... David, where do you normally play? Where do you normally play, David? Uh, I actually have no idea if the mic picked that up because I wasn't looking at the level. Just, yeah. David's the uh, extra cracked jungle. He's so good. <laughs> um, because that's the only thing you get from free stuff, David. <laughs> Like, just random drops that you don't get from playing the game. So, interestingly, uh, the enemy team has picked Zillion, which is... Um, Josh is uh, one of his few one-tricks. <laughs> I'm going to come over here and get beaten up now, but... Uh, <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. 
so it looks like we do not have a jungle. Um, what I can tell, we just have. Really, this is gonna be very interesting. Forty fours are not a normal thing, um, as you can tell by the five v five in the tournament draft layout. Yeah, this is not normal. So. I can't really tell if you can hear what they're saying right now. I, I pray to God that you can't. Some very, uh... Chat. I'm talking to chat, David. These zero people in chat right now. Chat is not in the room with us now. <laughs> There's no one. There's literally no one. <laughs> Miss Wrong, if you see this, um... Please don't expel any of us. <laughs> <laughs> it would have still worked. You're running uh you're running grasp on karma, right? <laughs> Alright. Um so now you're gonna see the first very cool thing about spectating is that uh we have a three minute delay. So um I'm gonna sit here and kind have of a nice talk. Uh I, my goal here is to get like a, a blue microphone so I can pick up the entire room. I mean, everything can be heard. <laughs> my clips. <laughs> well, you know, Lucian's story was that he got pr he got imprisoned. He was a slave to Thrush. That's his lore. Yeah, no, but like I only know that because <laughs> he's the first black guy in the game and his lore. <laughs> uh, so what you're hearing in the background is the entire league team. Um, unfortunately, uh, the mic setup is still extremely strange, my friend. So. So if they get really loud, you're probably going to... They might even be louder than I am. Um, you might also be able to hear some of the quite interesting things they're going to be saying throughout this entire match. Um. <laughs> so, you see, if you hear anything offensive, I'm just... I'm warning you now, this is not made for kids. It's not kid-friendly. It's not kid-friendly. I had to label it in the stream. It's not made for kids. <laughs> You want to, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Let me make sure I'm not actually. Hell yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, I, don't, I really don't know what to say. We're going to start in about 25 seconds. And then we'll actually be able to see what's happening. I just realized the chat is not working. Um, chat's busted, chat's busted. Chat's busted. I have to go fix it now. How is chat busted if I'm the only one in the chat? Is that you? Yeah. You rat. You rat bastard. I thought I was actually talking to somebody. You were. You were talking to me. Talking to you. Am I not somebody? No, you're not. You're not real. <laughs> Alright. It is leak time. It's true. Okay. So, quite the uh, interesting fight going on here. We're gonna do a little bit of do a little bit of invading. Do a little bit of invading. You want you need a more enthusiastic voice? Why don't you come over here? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you actually in a game already? What's going on, chat? <laughs> Let's go. Alright, as you can see, there's some pretty intense gameplay going on. Uh... <laughs> As you can see, buddy one two three or real name. No. <laughs> Bro, we're allowed to dox absolutely everybody. Yeah, it's, it's only fair. No, because like we actually can now. Really? Because it's public information. Who's on it? Hmm. So we got the initial cat fight going on right now. Let's see what's going on. Absolutely nothing happens because it's top lane. Who the one who calls this summer lane? <laughs> no, it's a three minute delay. Three minutes. <coughs> okay. 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 Hitting the minions. Got the CS. Got the CS coming out. Yo, these clicks. <laughs> Yo, full on 1v1? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't think it picks it up. Yo. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Uh, he misses. He's trying to run right now. He's being kind of silly. Let's go. First blood of the game. He's doing some. I don't actually need to leave the audio. Oh shit. Okay, we're just gonna have to sit right there. This. This. Um, hopefully you can hear us. Probably. Well, the audio is gonna be really bad. As long as you guys need me to teleport. Okay. Uh, as long as you don't scream too loud, we shouldn't make them deaf. Um. So apparently I'm supposed to be looking at the bot lane for a double kill. I don't really. Don't really see when that's gonna happen. Should be happening in about a minute now. Looks like we got a got a dive going on in the uh, top lane. Fortunately, wasn't able to capture it. Looks like we got some got some crazy stuff going on down here. Some kooky crazy stuff. Okay, okay. Oliver, Oliver with the moves. Oliver with the moves. Double kill in the bot lane. Very nice. Okay. Let's go check on mid lane. like uh, David's being pressured under tower pretty heavily here. He's like he knows what he's doing. Um, looks like some interesting stuff is going to go on up here. I'm looking to get some tower damage in before he backs. Um, yeah, some some early game content here. So uh, slow and steady wins the race. Um, so. Yeah, we're uh, I'm just gonna just gonna kind of sit here, drink some water. Okay, got some stuff going on in the bot line. Okay, missed that entire fight. That's good. That's good. Classic.
Just uh, check in here on the scoreboard. Hmm. Looks like the only person with a kill on the enemy team is the support. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, yeah, we're just we're doing some we're doing some gaming right now. Okay. Okay. I think I like what I'm seeing here. There's some kind of chase going on in the mid lane here. Um, doesn't look like anybody's going to commit too hard to that, though. So let's just keep watching top lane. Top lane is always extremely exciting. Okay, got the, got the passive proc going up. They are in his ultimate. Will he be able to get to the tower? He will, and Pablo with another kill. That is the third in top lane. Now, Pablo is pushing this top lane up like nothing else. What a crazy gamer. Let's go see what's happening in the mid lane. Now that David has been able to back. He's able to bait out a lot of Akala's abilities and gets a nice little hit in there. Um, yeah, let's, uh, I can't imagine the Strogoth's too excited about what's happening. Uh, looks like there's something entertaining going on down here right now. Okay. Got something going on here, a three level difference. Uh, does appear as though. Oh, our top is just, just too crazy. It's just built different. gonna get that tower plate. He's gonna stay. And he's gonna back out. With a significant lead in hand. Uh, I just now noticed that Trogath only has six CS. That's uh it's a fun little little fun little statistic right there. It does look like they're going to try and take Rift. It looks like this will go largely uncontested as Trogath will need to farm and it looks like a Kali's also well, not too behind in lane. Actually, if anything, she's has in lane. But, uh, taking far too long to notice that our laner is missing. Fing Herald, she will try to contest. Uh, where it is a 2v1 against a level 8 top laner. Um, will claim the kill on Mordekaiser. Most unfortunate. And maybe even on David. This would be unfortunate. Does look like he will be able to escape. Maybe I spoke too soon. No? Looks like he's good. Let's see what's going on down in the bot lane. Looks like I missed part of an engage. Uh, Samira blocking Volution ult, most unfortunately. Um, okay. Overall, a uh, kind of a loss, but we have Rift Herald now, so that should be pretty good. It does look like David is trying to get some weird engages here. <sighs> Drink water. I appreciate it's uh, sponsored. Not really. The water, please set me up. I do appreciate the sponsorship opportunity. Uh, it does appear as though uh, Shen and Mordecai have rotated lands. Mordecai can push a little bit harder. Uh, Splitfishing Master claiming the tower in not that long, only a even just about a minute. Being a passive proc and taking out a third, the, uh, a half of Akali's health. Oh my god, now it's half. Now it's definitely half. Now it's like 40%. Able to secure the kill on Akali by bringing her into Mordecai's ultimate. She is dead. It looks like he may even be able to get the kill on the Zillion, even though he has his ult up. Oh, uh, how unfortunate. Now his ult's run out, he is in significant danger. What does it look like? He's ulting in. Oh, Shen's ulting in. To drop the Herald. Very nice. Okay, this looks like this may be a mid claim for the dogs. Um, as we continue pushing the lane. Very good. Very nice. I'm gonna drink some more water. Sip of victory. Oh, 
Oh, maybe not a tower. Uh, it will be the tower, and Akali will definitely lose this fight uh, because Mordekaiser is quite good. She did pop her ult to get out of there. Um, darn. Would have been a pretty close call if she hadn't used her ult. It does look like she kind of wants to stay, but we will see what happens. He's extremely low health, and if she does stay and try to engage with Mordekaiser, she will most certainly die. Ooh, <sighs> so close, so close. Shogath has been pushing top lane to try and recover his CS and maybe get some tower plates. It does look like Shen is coming in to try and stop that. Um, let's go see how that's... I'm actually very interested. Mordekaiser immediately getting a kill on a calling and bailing immediately. Ooh, looks like a fun little gank here for Shen. will bring in his Q. You have a nullifying orb. Uh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Ooh. Only a sliver of health left on the Chogath. 44 health. Most unfortunate. What is going on down in the pot lane? Okay. Some typical, typical bot lane stuff. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're looking for an engage here, maybe secure a kill. Okay, successful Q, getting some of those stacks for that support end. Oh, what is going on here? I do like the sight of this. It does look like a colleague will die again of the Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser now is 6 and 1 and has fully acquired this mythic. Uh, bot lane, kind of hanging out. <laughs> Some pretty good stuff, it looks like. Um, very, very ahead. We have about a 6k gold lead. And uh, we're, we're 6 kills ahead. And that was also 3 minutes ago. Speaking of that, Mordekaiser is split pushing mid lane. Looks like he will be able to expose the inner tower if Akali, even if Akali shows up, he's just gonna murder, so. I think we know how this fight goes, Sounds gonna be kinda boring. Ooh. Akali finally learning how Mordekaiser Z works. We have hit 14 minutes. Objective bounties will be available in about a couple of seconds. That will be going to the enemy team, considering the significant lead that we have. Um, take the mid inner tower. And uh, both the top and bottom outer towers are very, very low. It does look like Mordekaiser might die here. 3v1, unless he's able to solo somebody out. Perhaps get a kill. Riftmaker nearly, nearly saving him, but not quite, not quite. Shen does appear to be in the fight here. Perhaps claim a kill. Shen is bailing, Shen is bailing. Um, unfortunate. Very, very close, though. Let's see if the bot lane perhaps salvaged something from that fight. It may, may happen. He's an, they know they're there. Trogath is now pushing top lane. Um, so their decision to stay here is perhaps coming at the cost of that tower. Although, it doesn't look like he's doing too much that tower. Uh, back to mid lane. It does look like Kali is here all by herself, although it is very close to the base. Kali is extremely low. She's probably not going to come into a fight. We do come back to the top lane where Mordekaiser is killing Shogath for the fifth time. Mordekaiser is now 7 2 and Cho'Gath is 0 5. Now it does look like some kind of engage may be happening here. Karma is going to go try and help start the Drake. Karma taking the Scuttled Crab. Amazing. I've never seen it before. Karma Jungle.
It does look like Sabolo will be coming in. Definitely not saying that right. Will be coming in to try and contest the Drake. Um, this will be an interesting fight indeed. Or bailing, it does look like Oliver will try, or Lucian will try and collapse. It does appear to be a successful tactic. Popping the Resurrection on the Samira. Gonna stay around her, trying to secure the kill. Does look like that will mm, maybe not be successful. Shen is stunned by the Zillion. Shen is, Shen is gone. My, my. Did be chasing down Lucian. Does seem to be okay. Now they're gonna try and go for the Karma. Which... Karma baiting, trying to get some poke in here. She will die. Unfortunate, unfortunate. For this entire time, Mordekaiser does appear to have been split pushing top lane. Legend. Has broken the outer tower and the inner tower. Now at a 7k gold lead. Um, our Lucian is now developing a farm bounty as well. Um, we'll be taking the Rift Herald as well, uncontested, as uh, the... Am I saying that right? Sabola? What round? Oh, uh, this is the first game. Um, I should be paying more attention to like, shift. You over here. Um, this is the first round. And I think it's Sabola? I don't, I don't know. I'm definitely saying that wrong. Anyway, it looks like some kind of commit in mid lane may be happening. It does look like Samira will be trying to take the Drake now, or at least secure it for her team, breaking their, breaking our control ward. Interesting engage. Interesting engage. We have some posturing. We have some stancing. We have some uh, looking, looking maybe for some spicy here. Karma hits a. That's slow. <laughs> Mordekaiser will be claiming a double kill, claiming the Drake for us. Shen looking to secure the kill on Zillion. Chasing him down as our team takes the Drake. Zillion looping around, doing some doing some evasion tactics. We'll be trying to recall. Will Shen find him? Does not look like that. Instead, he's gonna take the red. It does look like I'm gonna be playing in the next game. So I think I'm would you like to stream, my friend? Would you like to stream, my friend? Would you like to be the shoutcaster? Have absolutely no idea what's going on. It's just utter words. I have, uh... Yes, apparently I have two viewers. Yes, this is 4v4. Um, long story short, somehow one of our team members got kicked, and we're pretty sure that they're down a team member anyway. So... We're doing a 4v4. Very strange indeed. Wait, so am I playing in the next game or no? Oh, hey, am I playing? No, you're not playing. Okay, all right. I was just asking. No, you're not playing. What the f no, you're not Bro, did you see how you guys had like a 9k gold lead? What is happening? Does look like we will be claiming the Nexus. Um, first game goes to the Bulldogs. Very, very nice. Okay. That's, uh, that secures it. 
does that. When I say a cuss word, he just does that. <laughs> Very nice. Now, it's time <laughs> for the next game. I will be right back, gentlemen. All right, we are in for game two. Here we go. Let me uh, turn the music back down. Let me keep the music volume up. Since uh, I don't have much to say here. Yeah, they really didn't like that Karma from last game. Josh just went so crazy on Karma, they decided to ban it. Josh is absolutely losing it in the game room right now. He's literally going kooky crazy. Apparently, we didn't like the Samir either, although I can honest, I can understand that. Samir is kind of a foul, disgusting character. Um, no more on that, though. That is, that is personal opinion. They still, they really didn't like the Mord or the, uh, the Zed that they still haven't seen, although I'm sure that they're very afraid of that. We have the crazy Zillion pick coming out. Absolutely unexpected. If I don't see a Teemo ADC... <laughs> okay, we have the Yone. Yone pick. Yone pick. This is a Yone moment. Oh no, Jin. Ivern mid is normal, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be the duel of the brothers in the mid lane, Yone and Yasuo. Malphite moment, Malphite moment. The real question is what's our top gonna play? Music's kinda, I'm gonna skip this track. This track's kinda. Oh man, the Hecarim ban. One of our core, pl one of our core champions. Yeah, get the, yeah, okay.
The Garen? The Garen pick? Okay. Okay. All right, Timo in the Malphite, Zillion and Ezreal, and a Rakan and Jin, Yona and Yasuo, and a, uh... Wait. Wait. Oh, I'm actually not sure well, who's going where here. Team comp's a little scrambled, so we'll see what happens. Sounds like we're gonna have a team out jungle. This is uh, this is uh, this this is League of Legends. What runes do you have? We have a, a, a rally to invid, um, so I guess we're going to see that in about two minutes when I can actually see the game. Well, in the meantime, there's this pretty cool podcast I've been listening to. You might have heard of it. Um, it's called Wolf 359. It's pretty cool. It's sci-fi. It's kind of story-based. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little quirky. So, you know, I'm just kind of cool like that. We have some infighting within the team right now. Apparently David's being very flippant. I'm just gonna shout I'm just gonna shout cast the conversation. <laughs> they already know your real name. <laughs> David, do you wanna make a comment for the stream? Okay. Give me a sec. Hold on. I got. I got him over there. What? Uh, so David, you want us to call PC? Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is uh, Godfred, and I would like. I would really like to say that I think that Lewis actually might be racist. <laughs> right. The uh, microphone's been taken away from David as he's been. He's been spewing slander and deceit. There is no evidence to back up his claims. <laughs> On second thought, maybe adding a mic to hear the entire room would be a very bad idea. I'm still debating that one. Yeah, actually, it's a really bad idea. I'm never going to do that. Um, well, I just never say never. Maybe it's a really intelligent idea. Screen has so much muck on it. Okay, that is not a mark in the stream overlay. Right, we can finally see the game here. We go. Um, for some reason, it's not being captured. There we go. Okay. So I know that we invade right off the bat because this nice three-minute spectator delay. We will be following David. If I remember, ah yes. This is the uh, very cool thing here. Will be invading. Uh, let's follow our jungle, not them.
Ooh, getting that nice, getting that nice poke damage in. Oh yeah. It does look like the bot lane is looking to collapse here as soon as their team leaves, as they do have vision in this area. So it's looking a little unfortunate for the Teemo. Um, I think I know how it's gonna go. Let's see how this initial poke in the mid lane goes. Yone does have his little dash thing ready to go. Little hit, David with it. Mm, looks like a fairly even trade so far. Now, as I predicted, as I predicted, now that the bot lane is left, they're going to come in. And uh, Timo is unfortunately dead. Come back and see in the mid. Now, this mid lane is going to be very interesting as both characters are uh, very, very similar kits. Um, this is also kind of a kind of a lore moment, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna see who lives out the zero time dream here. It does look like Botline is gonna be doing something very interesting here, perhaps getting a kill, hopefully on one of them, perhaps not. Zillion is not level two, so he will not have his uh, bomb reset, so he can't get a stun yet. However, he will be able to dish out a little bit of damage. Looks like if anybody's going to die here, it is going to be Rakan. However, Rakan uses Flash, and so does Ezreal. Unfortunate. Um, I completely missed the part where Yone just straight up murdered David. Unfortunate. We'll come back. See you later. Let's go see what's going on here. Is and engage. See top lane. Let's get some top gameplay here. Since uh, your lanes aren't too active, does appear. Okay, we got the zillion bomb. We got the zillion bomb. Got some top gameplay, getting that, getting the mad, the mad CS, mad CS. Got an engage going on here. Will Zillion be able to get a stun reset out? Will Ezreal be able to secure, secure the kill on Jin? It looks like no. One bomb coming out, half health. Um, Ignite got popped at some point. Jin has popped both flash and heal, so that is a good engage for us. Fortunately, Zillion will have to back after taking a shitload of damage. Also, a rolling down. Bot lane, maybe? What? Being accused of cursing right now. You know, I actually have logs that I did not curse. Also, ooh, this looks like a very nice engage in mid lane. Teemo jungle play is coming out. Yone is now half health, perhaps. He also can secure the kill. Let's see. So let's take a look here. Ooh, flash coming out from Yone, securing the kill on Tima. We'll be able to do significant damage. Unfortunately, his little timer will run out and he will have to back. He also left with 62 health. Another news. Let's look at top. It does look like teams are getting ready to take Drake. With Rakan gaining some vision. Yone pushing in the mid tower. bot fight here will be critical to seeing who will gain the drake so let's see what happens now unfortunately Ezreal has very little mana and, ma and Ezreal is pretty mana hungry so he will be forced out it does look like there is now some kind of engage perhaps going on in the mid lane Oh, 
stuff going on here. Got some bad stuff going on here. Yoni's now half health. However, there is a three level disparity here. Um, does look like Yone will be dying here. Or uh, maybe he'll just kill Teemo. And he could just do that. You know, that's entirely possible. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here. Now, I believe I've identified the uh, issue here. The CS difference is causing a level difference as well. So that's not very great. Um, it looks like nobody's going to capitalize off of that mid fight. Okay, two different bombs. Unfortunately, he was not able to land them on the same target. But, some chip damage, some chip damage. Okay, okay. Teemo going in for the gank. This does appear to be a 4v2. Teemo not packing too much CC in his kit will not be able to slow them down enough to help secure the kill for the team. And it does look like, for off of that, they are going to try and secure the Drake after dealing some damage to the bot lane. However, that's not going to deter the bot lane coming back in. So Zillion will have to guard, make sure that they don't come in. Oh, apparently I'm supposed to look for something in three minutes, so I will do that. Unfortunately, right now, I'm observing our team losing this Drake. Oh, Timo securing, securing the Drake, stealing it with quite the W, however. The rest of our team is probably going to die here. Ezreal not able to quite, just barely etch out that kill on Yone. And, uh, yeah, we did steal the Drake. So uh, I'd mark that as a W, worth. And now we're back to the laning phase. Let's go see what's going on in the mid lane. We'll have to escape from those two. You also are looking to push in the mid tower, maybe get some more CS, maybe get some tower damage. We'll not be able to accomplish that with the uh, level A owner. I think it's time for some top gameplay. Okay. Okay. Um. Anyways, in other news, Timo's being chased by Yone. This kind of just happened at some point. Khan roaming up from bot lane to maybe help Yone secure the kill. Will not get there in time. Khan's going to sit in that bush and just kind of chill out. Ooh, man. Doesn't look like the engage in top lane is going to get us very much, and now they will there engage in the mid lane. Timo's going to start roaming away. Maybe some kind of a collapse. Dawes looks like they want to try and invade, maybe steal some stuff here. Dawes looks like Garen's about to get collapsed on. This would be unfortunate. However, Garen sees this coming because he's got a ward. And he's able to get the hell out of there. Or the heckin', the heckin' gosh darn out of there. You didn't hear me say that. are able to claim a tower plate. Jin taking quite a bit of damage. Fortunately, this tower is quite pushed in. It will cost him some CS. Timo surprising Rakan, looking for the kill. Khan will be running, however, he has nowhere to run to except for his Jin, which he can get to by flashing, dashing through the wall. I did not know he could do that. Now you know that. Looks like a fight near the Drake pit, but there is no Drake. Interesting. Zillion is able to land that stun by reading his opponents like a book. 
the Zillion Ultimate saving Yasuo from certain death, or there will be a Jin Trap slowing him down quite significantly. Zillion with more bombs, getting him in there, doing quite a bit of damage. Teemo chasing him down, looking to secure. One kill, two kills, two kills. Ah, uh, Ezreal the bastard. <sighs> Ezreal stealing the kill from Teemo. The rat. He is claiming a kill to cure. However, that was quite a significant bounty, and I will not be calling it that. Let's go back and look at top lane. Yeah, that's top lane, all right. Let's see what's going to happen to this Jin. Looks like Jin's going to die getting hit with that stun. Quite a bit of damage. Half his health gone. Does look for the ultimate. Don't believe the Jin understands that he does execution-based damage, meaning that deals more damage, less health they have. Um, and his ult will go to waste. Back into the mid lane. The Yone Yasuo duel continues. Yone taking a tower shot. The trade is still going in Yone's favor. And Drake will be coming up very, very soon now. And that will be pivotal. Did claim the first Drake, and we do have a gold lead, but we are down in kills and experience. Fortunately, uh, our mid to life has just been claimed by the enemy Yone. Perhaps Teemo can do something about that. Teemo able to get the minions out from under tower. Josh is uh, chimping out in the background, as I'm sure you can hear. Teemo will die. Uh, Yone popped his ult to do that. Unfortunate, or Yoni's now level 10, and he will be able to take down this tower. Let's go look at the top lane. That's top lane. Unfortunately, Yoni will claim the first tower of the match, netting some very, very nice bonus gold for level up. Now, this trick will be very important. They have already started it. Our jungle is coming in, but question is more of will you be able to stall for long enough. I, I do not believe so. They do not have a jungle. It is worth noting that, so stealing would be fairly easy. However, we will not steal the Drake. And does look like we're trying to engage here. Teemo and a little bit of damage in here, but ultimately not yielding too many results. Zillion can land a double bomb combo here. He'll be able to secure a kill, however it does look like everybody is heading back to base. Yasuo taking the Herald. Ooh. Yone targeting Zillion. Not yielding too many results. However, leaving the ADC stranded between a rock and a hard place. However, nothing happens. Does look like we're going to try and push mid very hard. Let's see. Does look like the bot is going to try and collapse. We will pop Rift Herald to maybe claim this tower. Does look like the entire enemy team is going to collapse on mid lane. However, that will be a tower for us. Will, was it worth it though? Team fight comes out. One down. Two down. Three down. Ezreal is coming in to maybe salvage something from this fight. No hit on that ultimate. And he will be bailing. Unfortunate use. Ezreal trying to run, trying to get out. 
Fielding will chase him down, pop the ignite, and another life claimed by that team, but how unfortunate. It will be a team wipe, and it does look like mid is going to get pushed in quite hard here. It may result in a tower claim. This chin does quite a bit of damage. Probably not, though. Pawn will take quite a bit of damage here. Speeding up the Teemo. Nothing will result from that fight. <gasps> Half of this recording is just going to be Josh, like, screaming in the background. There's, like, multiple people here trying to secure a kill on Malphite. Malphite is extremely low health, and he will die instantly. It will result in the top... In a top tower take, as nobody in the enemy team is looking to contest. That is the enemy top tower down. What is the next move here? Does look like we are rearing for some kind of fight here. Get the engage. Khan pops ult, charms quite a few people. Zillion ult saves uh, Yasuo. Zillion gets a double bomb stone. That is Yone down. Now the next up is Jin. He is poisoned. Oh, and he's killed by the Israel. Next is Malphite. Malphite doesn't contest this tower. He will lose it. So if you did hear that, that is Josh expressing his inner schizophrenic. Uh, not quite sure who he's talking to. It does sound like he's screaming at himself. As you can tell, the state of our league team is quite, quite good. It does look like Rakan will try and stop the recall. Not resulting in too much there. Just a little annoyance. As you do. As you do. Okay. We still have a 4k gold lead. You are down in kills. And you're tied in drakes. This game is still pretty close. Khan looking for some poke damage there. Does look like Teemo's fairly isolated from his team. If he gets picked, it'll be much harder to secure the drake. It does look like he will be able to escape from the clutches of the enemy team. It does look like they have beta Jin. Do a 2v3 if they can secure that. Doesn't look like that, and we will result to the team fight. Now, team fight will have to happen here uh, in order to contest Drake. Does look like some kind of engage up here. Missed the double bomb. No one is starting yet. No double bomb again, however, that will hit two core members of the enemy team. Red team starting the drag. Spolin may be looking to just claim it right out from under us. Our jungle is alive, so their priority will be to take out our Teemo. Teemo is down. Yon Yasuo is down. Zillion uses Zilt to save his life. Ezreal has escaped. Zillion will hopefully look to escape. That Drake is not only a Drake for the enemy team, but also an objective bounty, which means a little bit of extra Gelders for them. Bringing the gold lead down to 3k. Just realized that replay UI is still on. Very nice. The idea here is to maintain mid lane tower for as long as they can until Garen can achieve some kind of objective up top enough to distract them, and it looks like that has been achieved. Oh. 
Oh, it does appear to. Hmm. Timo now understanding there's nobody else in the jungle. Looking for some kind of pick, maybe some kind of gank on this gin. It does appear something strange is going on in the lane. This does not look like something we do not need to see just quite yet. Hmm. Looking for some kind of pick. Yone playing kind of aggressive. Take quite a bit of poke damage there. Yone left with not a lot of health. Timo looks to maybe want to try and collapse here. He's a massive amount of movement speed. Having uh, only two things on his uh, passive movement ability. Very interesting. Anyways. Ghost coming out from Teemo. Noticing Jin pop in the ward. It will do quite a bit of damage to him. Looks like Jin might get popped here. Fortunately, oh, Jin gets popped by the poison. Jin is down. Yone in a 4v1. Taking quite a bit of damage. Will this be Yone's downfall? Yone is down. Rakan seems to be pushing bot lane. Interesting. Malphite is kind of just killing the top line. Now, interestingly enough, I do believe Rakan is going to do quite a bit of damage here. However, he'll be left to his own devices. Okay. Gold lead is widened back to 5k again. will be trying to take Rift Herald, and again, it will go uncontested as they're still reeling from that fight. The top lane is being pushed very hard by Garen. It does appear as though this Rift will go largely uncontested. And there goes the Baron, giving us a lot of power, very fast recalls, and an objective bounty. Yoni is the only one left after that fight. I mean, he looks like he might get picked. Or he's able to escape under tower. Ooh, Jin W dealing quite a bit of damage. He will have to dodge this Jin ult in order to survive. Oh, hit by the Jin ult. Yone, or Yasuo, is down. Zillian perhaps looking to support Yasuo has arrived. However, he is unable to assist. Looks like it's time for Yone to maybe get picked again, playing very aggressively. Zillion hitting the double bombs. Hey, Zillion hitting the stun. Okay, quite a bit of damage in there. Maybe looking for another combo. Fortunately, that will not come out. We now have a 6k gold lead. Quite a little bit of trolling. However, we are down in Drake's. Speaking of which, the next Drake is about to come up. It looks like our Teemo, our jungle. Is already looking to take it, not even preparing. The entire enemy team is coming down. He's backing out very wisely. He's still doing quite a bit of damage. He does understand that even if they do try to contest, he can kind of just run in there and steal it if he wants to. Like he did right there, because uh, he has the funny smite thing. However, this fight does not seem to go very well. Oh, we'll take out Rakan and do quite a bit of damage to everybody else. Will they continue to look for an engage? Does look like Wool is running away. Zillion slowed down quite a bit by that trap. Does look like we'll be able to get away.
Yone looking to kill the Garen. Not too successful. Ah, Timo, uh, Timo got murdered. He's not able to identify who that was. Malphite is left with extremely little health after that zillion bomb. If he gets hit by another, he will probably die. However, there are three, there are two other people in the mid lane, and an engage will surely result in Zillion's death. Some reinforcements, maybe this fight might go his way. Stun hit on Malphite. Not capitalized on. Ultimate coming out from... And taking Malphite. Very nice. Zillion does have a massive shield. However, it is broken quickly. Zillion's ult is popped. Rakan's ult does charm quite a few of them. Zillion is down. See who can survive. Yasuo is down. Does sound like we have won, so let's see how these last three minutes of the game unfold. It does appear that the end will come through top as top, well actually come through top or mid as both have their inhibitor towers exposed right now. However, it does look like Garen is looking for the continued split push in the top lane. Khan is based, Jin is looking to block top. Where will the push come from? Garen, put, Garen putting up quite a fight will be taken down by three, because Garen is Garen, and he has way too much tank. The greatest amount of delay here, the game has actually already Master ended. Genuinely, half of this recording is just going to be Josh screaming his lungs out. I, I could pull out, like, I know exactly where the three clips are. Quite a lot of damage coming out. Ez the Ezreal combos. The Ezreal combos. So we'll leave Zabola's team basically screwed. We will end the game. 7k gold lead. Yeah? David. What do you have to say about that game? I don't play mid, and I hate mid, and I haven't played it since like season eight. Okay, I'll say it more respectfully. I haven't played since like season nine, and I don't know half the champions in these games. <laughs> also, I'm do uh, dog doo doo. Hey, the Teemo pick worked. The Teemo pick worked. Look at that! Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Yeah, Woohoo! <laughs> he did 10,000 more damage than you. Yeah! Garen damage! Alright.